let's take a short tour of one of the biggest malls in Asia, Icon Siam in Bangkok, Thailand. It is massive and luckily for me, my hotel Shangri-La had a free shuttle to take me to Icon Siam, which is right there. It's the second largest mall in Thailand, opened in November 2018. It's a state-of-the-art high-end marketplace where all the luxury brand names and restaurants coexist. It has more than 100 restaurants, including a little kind of like a night market in the bag that's kind of hidden away. I don't think a lot of tourists have found it because you kind of have to take a little turn and then go through a small little almost like an alley and there's also a water show this is only at night um there's a schedule for it it's very beautiful but i think it's the perfect timing to come here is at night there's so many beautiful spots to take pictures in we're also gonna go up to the roof a little bit later so this mall has 7,000 shops and yes most of them are super high-end luxury and when I tell you how much it costs it to build this mall you might just flip out it is very expensive but everywhere you look there's something to see and I'm really loving that the main restaurants on the floor have these Japanese style fake food of what they have to offer in the middle there's a l smaller restaurants some uh, milk tea places pastries a, a horse there's a ton well some people call this mall basically a museum because there's a ton of art and statues just like that horse is here um but what i've noticed is most of the people are here at the food section and yes there are some locals but a lot of tourists too but if you are a tourist and you do plan on buying some designer bag or shoes or clothes i would suggest to buy it here because if you are a tourist when you fly home at the airport, you can get a tax refund, unlike if you were to buy it at home. So that makes sense. But as you can see, when I went down to the big stores, it was pretty much empty. Most of the people here in the stores are employees. You don't really see anyone coming here to shop. So it's I think it's very food-focused mall. They make the most money on food. And everyone comes here to like look around. But you're going to find every, every big name here. There was Versace, Fendi, there's Gucci, Dior, everything. It's here, all in one place. Louis, literally, all the big names, you're going to find it here. So if you're looking to shop, it's a very good spot to come. Um, What else? Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, my experience. I did eat something at the little back market. I forgot what it was. But it's very much like street food. Um, but more touristy. Um, tourist focused. So it's not like traditional street food obviously they don't use as many spices as if you were to go to an outdoor night market back at the food section everyone's here this is where the life is or they're either here or outside because the view from the outside is absolutely magnificent this is the little back shop i was talking about market you're gonna find some clothes here a lot cheaper than the design ones the designer ones upstairs and here are the little shops there's not a lot of them it's about two three rows and you're gonna find a lot of them repeating the same foods i did notice that nobody here was buying anything big designers it was mainly just came here for food or take pictures food here is just slightly more expensive than at a street market 
see a soup is like 70, 80, 120 baht, which is very affordable. Let's go outside and see what we have here. I'm sorry about the shakiness. I was limping. It's been a long walking here. I spent about 10 days in Thailand and most of it walking and sightseeing. It is so beautiful out here. And once you see this view from up close, it's drop dead gorgeous. I almost forgot to mention how much it costed to build this mall. 1.65 billion in dollars. Almost 2 billion dollars to build a mall. I don't even I don't know if they actually make that much profit. But it has a lot of money to build one single mall. But look at this view. Absolutely amazing. You, you're only going to see this view if you come here at night. Of course, you're going to see a beautiful view in the morning. But it's not going to be anything like this. So I really loved Icon Siam. It was beautiful. There was so much to look at everywhere I look. And I got very lucky that I got a free shuttle. And not only saved me time but money too, but I was mainly concerned about the time because it does take a while to get across the river. So that was it for the Icon CM video.